Wow, dude, look at that. I already regret it, god damn it. Beautiful road, man. Beautiful road. This this is heaven. I almost fell off, dudes. The closest I've been to death. A short break. And now, all set to go. Just need the keys. That's it. Don't I look awesome in that? Oh. Look at that! Look at that handsome hunk! <laughs> oh, 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 oh. When you are slightly sweaty and you get that first, first, first breeze. Oof, oof, oof. How beautiful is this hill, dude? I sometimes get this surge of gratitude, man, sometimes. Like, many, many, like millions of people, millions of guys like me dream of some having an experience like this. Like, a bike on an open road with beautiful scenery like this. And I feel so grateful to, you know, have this in my destiny, like to have this privilege of experiencing something as beautiful as this. And, uh, you know, sometimes we take these things for granted, like, yeah, we just took a ride there and we experienced this, we went and stayed there, we took a trip there. And we often, like, Unknowingly, not purposely or something, not necessarily in an arrogance, but we are ignorant towards how many people dream of having something like this. And there are a few moments when I realize this and that's when I stop taking such things for granted, like stop taking the privilege that I have. Of course, I'm not the, not any, any rich person to, uh, to have to do this. But, I don't know man how to explain it. Because I can imagine, like uh, during my childhood, I often used to see these bikers, big bikers with their Harley Davidsons used to go on these highways. And I, in my half chetties, used to look at them, oh, 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 look at that, look at that sound of that bike. Look at how his helmet is, it's all black. I often used to like be enamored with all of that. And uh, not completely, but now when I'm getting to experience it, I actually am grateful that I finally at least made it till here to get to experience something like this. Aaj ka gyan bas itna hi tha. Aaj ke liye bas itna hi. Kal milenge. Isi channel par aur isi samay pe. Tab tak ke liye dekhte rahiye. Kaun banega karubadi? Shivratri Shabak hai. Good night. Now, I'll directly stop at Kolapur. And after that, I'll probably have lunch over there. And after that, directly home. Home from uh, Kolapur is 120, I guess. Kolapur from here is 20, so total 140 kilometers to go. Yeah, 141. Good calculation on the end of the Good job, good job. Whew, I actually surprisingly don't feel tired, dude. Like, I'm very, very surprised. And it, most of it is because of this air seat. Man, this is a gem, dude. This is a blessing. Seriously. Can't believe how, how much stress is taken out, dude. Like, how did someone come up with that idea? 
Quite a tight turn suddenly. Am I in guards right now? Yeah, dude. I didn't realize. Ah. Doesn't this feel good? Beautiful, dude. Beautiful. So huge, man. So huge. Scenes like this make you realize how insignificant are you. We often have this huge mountains and mountains and mountains and mountains of problems in our life. We keep thinking and dwelling upon it. But then moments like this often make me feel like I am really very very I am very very insignificant in front of all of this, in front of nature, in front of this world. We make our ego, our problems, huge mountains in our head. It's all futile, dude. Wow, I'm suddenly getting so philosophical, man. <laughs> it's actually places and moments like these you that make you think about life, that make you think about your significance in the world. Our egos, man, our egos are even bigger than these mountains, really. And these and those are pseudo mountains. They are not. They're of no weight at all. Look at that, man. Look at that. So magnificent, man. I wish to die like this, dude. I mean, not today. <laughs> if it happens today, then I'm dead. <laughs> not today, not so soon. I'll, I'll let you know. Bhagwanji, not today, not today. I'll, I'll let you know. I'll, I'll send you an email whenever I feel the, it's the right time and the right place to die. But I'd, I'd really like to die somewhere in the womb of nature. And you know the best thing? This is a single way road. So I don't have to worry about the oncoming traffic. Wow, dude, look at that. Wow. Oh. <laughs> I can give my own alabs, man. I don't want to make a layer of I made it to Kolhapur. I've never, never, never felt so relaxed even after riding for so damn long. <laughs> really? Why does the air feel a little low in my front tire? My bike is slowing down very, very fast. Aware, right? Why does it feel like I have less air? I'll ask that guy. How are my coming? I carry put it. I na party. Brother, I na. <laughs> I mean, I actually wanted to check with my weight on it, although that's not much, but <laughs> you know, it doesn't, it doesn't cost anything to ask someone else. <laughs> and by the way, I got to listen to that classic and typical Kolhapuri accent. Hi, ki? Hi, ki hoa? <laughs> ah, I'm, I'm slightly hungry now. Not slightly. I'm legit hungry. <laughs> There's one amazing restaurant in Kolhapur. It's called Rajdani. Amazing food. Like for if you if you want to buy. Terrain, terrain. Pull up, pull up. <laughs> 
That was close. Whenever I'm talking something, whenever I'm talking about something, something like this happens. Control, control, Uday. Anyway, so there's this amazing restaurant in Kolhapur. Uh, it's called Rajdani. You get amazing chicken thali. It's some 200 bucks, I guess. But it's so f tasty, man. So tasty. So I'm thinking I'll have lunch there only. I just hope it's on my way. I don't want to go out of my way to go and have lunch there. A few inches later. This is a restaurant that I was talking about. Rajdani. Now, time is for some sweet, not sweet, spicy, but uh, lunch. had some crazy tasty lunch and while I was having it I had this continuous regret that you're overeating you're, you're overeating this is not gonna go well but it was so tasty I couldn't resist and I'm gonna regret on my way so yeah all set to go now directly home now no stopping at all oh my god i already regret it god damn it <laughs> ah. oof, 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 oof. that air man this i love this jacket such lovely ventilation Actually, my turning radius has reduced a bit because of this tank bag. That's the only downside. Nice and snug. Nice and snug. Yeah, these won't slip. While walking, of course, they do slip. Because, and uh, partly, I blame my legs as well. My legs are super, super skinny. Ah, oh, god damn it. I did not put on my helmet straps. A few moments later. Yeah, dude, I'm aware. You don't need to honk. Beautiful road, man. Beautiful road. I like these kind of roads. More than highway, I like these kind of twisties and roads where like there's greenery also as well. And the, there's something to do now. On highways, you have nothing to do. You just have your throttle in your hand. No gears to shift. No brakes to apply. You just go at one constant speed throughout. Here you have to like de-accelerate, accelerate, change gears, turn. It's fun. It it keeps you active. Highways are boring. Sugarcane fields. A few inches later. Now is going to be the most fun part.
I'll also click a few pictures as well there. This is the carts of my Pokan area. There you go. This this is heaven. <laughs> Oof, damn. Look at that. My goodness. Oh. I don't deserve this. <laughs> That's what I could come up with. I don't deserve this scenery. Ah. Damn, damn, damn. I'll be going all the way from here, here, then here, here, and then go down from there throughout. So this is going to be one entertaining <laughs> one entertaining ride. That's how peace sounds like. <sighs> Just cancel out these horns and brake noises. That's how peace sounds like. Look at that. Little birds chirping. <sighs> what hells are this man? This is unreal man. How peaceful is this? How silent is this? Beautiful. This is what I love. Not going to clubs and pubs and parties. This this peace is what I crave for. Anyway. Let's get back to our ride. Got to reach somewhere. Not that anyone's waiting for me, <laughs> but I got to be where I got to be. <sighs> you see that? This absolute. Pin drop silence right now. See? Although my voice is ruining that. <laughs> Damn man. I feel like sitting here till the sun sets. The sunset is going to be beautiful though. But it's going to take a while. By that time I'll reach home. So I know my priorities. Hello. Let's go. Hope I'm not. Hope I'm not forgetting anything again. Oh. some other world on this side as well look at that man oh god damn it don't tell me that the roads are going to be bad now oh god i told you i don't deserve full happiness <laughs> yeah what suddenly went wrong why did they just give up making the road? They must have purposely kept the road like this because that again 
leads to very less accidents good roads means good speeds higher speeds means losing control and losing control leads to guess what <laughs> the road is bad but the but the scenery is making up for it i almost slipped there That was bad. That was that was very bad. I almost fell off, dude. Ambulance. That's a sign. <laughs> That's a sign to calm your horses a little. Now the good road starts, is it? Yeah. Yeah, actually. I just hope there's no gravel on the road. Then I'm doomed. said you can't have fun on a royal infield if this is not fun i don't know what is look at that dude Your mind is completely alert while riding in ghats. Like you calculate every turn, every angle, every millisecond. And I'm doing this after riding for 450 kilometers. It's still like it, this is this 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 type of a road is so exciting that even after draining out all your energy, you still feel like you know giving your best. And this is a Royal Enfield. Imagine what fun it would be on a KTM man to corner on that. Whoa! Now that was I lost some traction. Are there? This was really very risky. Oof, look at that. Cord race. The <laughs> sun has gone golden now. And the dust looks so pretty man. I didn't pay attention at the road, buddy. Please pay attention at the road. Finally back to the highway again. Empty roads, empty. There's no one on the road, dude. Oh, look at that sunset. I don't want to say anything, man. I don't want to say anything. That was the closest I've been to death. <laughs> I'm not even kidding, man. It's not even funny. Dude, that break. I was at 101, I guess. 
Royal Enfield breaks, I must say, dude. <laughs> Royal Enfield, way to go, way to go. It saved my life today. I would have easily gone through that cow, gone through. I've never stopped so hard, so quickly, ever in life. <laughs> no matter what the context is, I've not stopped so quickly. guys we have upgraded from a bike to a car now <laughs> but motor vlog is motor vlog so please sab sab kar sara kabar sab kar kar aaye sara sara kab whatever please sab sara uh, i want to reach 1 million likes so please sara sab kar sara kar sara kar sara kar sara kar sara pakarai sara pakarai yes yes